Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine <laughs> as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve Flanders. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? Married? <laughs> cool. I'm married. It was the marshal who hired me, Lee Johnson. Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bucks asking for a guy. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. These horses are pretty. Everything's pretty. I'm gonna start repeating myself. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. Damn coyotes! What a waste coyotes. of good meat! Uh, not huh. far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> okay, approach Fort Mercer. Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Do I look like I need saving? I'm outnumbered. Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seem to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. Implore. I, I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. <laughs> uh, well, this is a short game. <laughs> I was shocked. And that's a vulture. Go away, vulture. Shoo. Hang on. There's somebody coming. Hmm. Who's that? Hey, 
hang on. Wasn't that the girl from the train? She was sitting like two rows in front of me. Yeah. I think that was the girl from the train. New friends, old problems. I think that is it. Well, alive. <laughs> so it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. But what were you doing? I was. Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple of days ago. Good. It cost us fifteen dollars. Choo! Back in that day, that's a lot. Adam. You left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county to die, Mister? Er, Mister uh, Marston. John Marston. John Bonnie Marston. McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarland. She's single. You may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. A long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, Miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to him. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? Patrol. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's food. Of course. And thank you for saving my life for me. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. Oh, that's kind of cool. He's... Right. He was holding his side. Okay. Ooh, what's that? That's an... That's an axe. That's kind of cool. Howdy. Cool, cool, cool. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Let's see. Blue dot, blue dot, blue. There. We go. Here. Mr. Marston, huh? back in the land of the living, I see. Uh huh. Figured it's about time I started paying back that fifteen dollars. Fifteen whole dollars. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Bonnie's kind of pretty. Beautiful guys on them. Okay. Chickens. Chickens. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. Yeah. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Mr. Farland. I agree. I picked out a fine horse for you. This one? Yes. Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearing. Company Bunner. Ooh, the muscles. Oh, that's so cool. 